What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and yet another game unboxing is in front of us. This is the game season after all coming up on Christmas and if there is a collector's edition of a game it's going to be here on the channel. This is Lord of the Rings War in the North. It's one of the larger boxes that I've seen for any collector's or limited edition of a game and uh, there's many things in the box besides the game itself. There's also an art book. Um, a big gigantic map of Middle Earth and this arrow holder to hold all of your stuff if you so choose to keep it in there. You can also hang the map up if you would rather do that. Or you can just wear the uh, wear the arrow holder as a bag. Just rock it, you know, on your back. Take it to school. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That might not be received too well. Well, hey, I'm not going to tell you not to, though. You might be a, a huge fan. Who knows? So... Anyways, as you guys can see, everything is enclosed inside of the arrow holder. There is nothing else in the box besides this big package here. And in the main pouch is where you're going to find the game as well as the art book. I'm going to put those two items to the side for a moment so that we can get a look at the larger item inside of the actual arrow holder. This big map of Middle Earth that has arrow tips and arrow ends on each end. There you go. I told you it has a strap. You could be a badass rocking that. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, as I mentioned before, the main attraction here is this big map. You can either put that up as a collector's piece or keep it in the uh, in the sheath, in the arrow holder if you choose to do it that way. And uh, there you go. You get a better look at it. I'm not sure how relevant this map is going to be as far as gameplay is concerned. I don't know if it relates to the game, but uh, nonetheless, a cool collectible for any fan of Lord of the Rings. So let's get inside the game box, see if there is any DLC love from the developers here. And I believe there should be. Most collector's editions have something. So the first thing we're going to notice is uh, the manual. Again, these manuals are pretty mini these days. And there is some DLC. It's a War in the North theme pack. Um, so let's get a better look at this art book as well. A nice matte finish on the front. I like these art books. It gives you, um, you know, some some background into the artwork in the game. And it gives you a nice appreciation for the amount of work that goes into the development of these things. You get a better look at some of what to expect in some of the levels here you know, once you throw this game in. A nice little preview. There's also a Blu-ray in the back. It's, it's I think it's a behind-the-scenes look um, at the music production that went into the game. So that's kind of cool, a Blu-ray, not an audio CD. Um, so here you get a better look at some of the details on the arrow holder. You can see a nice metallic emblem there and the embossed Lord of the Rings War in the North logo there. Real nice stuff. One of the nicer collector's editions that I've seen in the last little while. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this content, hopefully you can like and favorite this video. After all, it's your love and viewership that makes this content possible, and it does help me out if you do that. And if you haven't checked out my new channel yet, please do so. It's called The Beast Feed. I'll put a link down below so you can do that. Otherwise, stay tuned for more game unboxings. I got GoldenEye, the special edition of that for PS3 coming up, and, you know, Modern Warfare. Jesus, there's too many games coming out. Stay tuned for all of them. Anyway, guys, until next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Later.